so nice as you're waking up in South Florida. You know, low humidity, a little bit of coolness out there, Jen. Yeah, we'll take what we can get at this point, Jen. <laughs> yes, it's a nice change. It's subtle, but it makes a difference, yeah. right? And we're going to feel that difference this morning. Now, there's still a lot of cloud cover, so it's not a bright, sunny day today. It's going to be actually pretty cloudy throughout today. And that will ob obviously help to keep the highs from warming up too much, too. But we're under a northerly flow because the front did pass to the south of us, although it's stalled just over the Miami area and the Keys. Those are the areas that will deal with showers. If it was just a little more north, stalled a little closer to us, we would deal with more showers too. But for today, we'll just keep it at 20%. Uh, with that said, there still could be a drizzle or a light shower, but otherwise, uh, mostly cloudy skies throughout today. Now, temperatures dropping still slowly, but surely because of the cloud cover, they haven't dropped too quickly. Okeechobee is now at 68 degrees, so that is the coolest spot on the map, as you can see. Everybody else, the low to mid 70s, the mild spot, or the warm spot, is West Palm Beach at 76 degrees. But again, the humidity being so much lower, it feels really nice out there. Let's widen up the view for the rest of the Sunshine State, dealing with a lot of cloud cover except for parts of the Panhandle and far northern stretch of Florida, right along that Georgia-Florida line. And then look at all the cloud cover over the Gulf. Also, there's that stall front, as I mentioned, showers this morning for the lower keys. And here's a look at the Viper cast. So when it comes to the cloud cover, it's just sticking around all day today. But by tomorrow, We'll see more sunshine that could lead to some daytime heating pop up showers. Tomorrow's chance goes up a little bit, but even more so Wednesday and towards the rest of the week. By Wednesday, it's a better chance for even an isolated thunderstorm. Now, this is all out ahead of the next front that's headed our way. So at the same time, the rain chance is going up. So are the temperatures. Take a look. We'll back, we're back into the upper 80s tomorrow, but by Thursday, 90, 92, Friday, Saturday, that front should come our way either late Saturday night or Sunday morning and clear to the south of us. But Sunday, we'll start to feel that cooler air returning after the big warm up later this week. All right, Jennifer.